I use some of these math and logic symbols in this video. This is the definition of continuity. For all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero, such that for all real numbers x, p implies q, where p is saying that x minus x zero is between zero and delta, and q is saying that the absolute value of f of x minus f of x zero is less than epsilon. That's the definition of continuity. So how do we define being discontinuous? For discontinuous, we need to negate this statement. If it is not true for all epsilon, that means there exists an epsilon for which it is not true. If it is not true that there exists a delta, then for all delta, it is not true that this condition is satisfied. If it is not true for all x, that means there exists an x such that this is not true. The negation of p implies q, the only way that p implies q can be wrong is if p is true and q is false. So therefore f is discontinuous at x0 means there exists an epsilon greater than zero such that for all delta greater than zero there exists an x in the reals such that p is true and not q is true. So if you want to prove this, you choose an epsilon carefully, then for every given delta greater than zero, you need to find an x such that this is true, but this is also true. And that is how you prove discontinuity.